a bear, a bear, a bear, a bear, a bear, bear, a 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 I love how the game's actually called Fire Emblem Three Houses. Oh my god. Oh, I'm stupid! I forgot to update any details. God damn it, I always get distracted. Didn't this happen like last direct too? Insult. Insult funny Nintendo deck title heal. Um, I'm pretty sure there's a Nintendo Direct category on Twitch, isn't there? Just chatting, alt, just chatting. Uh, yeah, it seems like just chatting. Foxen plays clone hero? Foxen plays clone hero. Didn't know that. Just chatting, I guess. I'll put it in now. Live dashboard on YouTube. I'm logged into the wrong Google account. I forgot about that. That's my password. Uh, five minutes. I gotta, I gotta panic set up real quick. No one's in here. My chat's not active. That's no. That's the long one. I want to switch to. God, I have way too many Google accounts. Okay. Okay. Um, um. Live dashboard, that's what I'm looking for. Okay, is the audio walking? Is it walking? T E S T. Okay. Okay. Oh my god, I'm hungry. I need food. Um, um. Okay, that's walking. I'm going the um um. I'm going the um um. Uh, restream. Um. Can you catch up, please? There we go, it caught up. It caught up. There we go, it caught up. There we go. Can we watch it loop? While we wait for it to start? There we go. Loop. Can we watch it loop? Well, Should I watch on Twitch or YouTube? Let's watch on Twitch. Oh, is it gonna get darker? Should I watch on Twitch or YouTube? Let's watch on Twitch. Oh wait, I forgot my colors are darker than they should be. Yeah, whatever. Yeah, let's keep it on auto. Okay, here we go. Time to watch Fire Emblem Three Houses. God, I've only been home for like 20 minutes. With the panic set up. I forgot about the font text thing. What font did I use? Basic ass font. 
basic ass font. I haven't listened to music on a Steam in fucking ever. I kind of want to play the crew again on a Steam. Now they have a computer to play it at a fan weight above 2 FPS. Be fun. Oh, the, oh, it's literally the final minute. Final minute. Until it begins. Huh. God, imagine how stressful it would be on the other side of a direct. Having something on the direct. Or being at a conference or something. Who knows? Five PM ET. Five PM ET. It's five PM ET. Ooh, it's gonna be. It's gonna start with fire emblem. No, it's not. Oh my god. Oh my god. This is loud. Oh my god. Of course. It's not it's not a sequel, it's a half core. I wonder if they have more themes. Seems so inevitable now I'm thinking about it. Oh, it is a sequel. Ooh. Oh. Oh my god. So they're adding wholly new original stuff. Oh, I like that. That's smart. And adding stuff from the 3D Mario games in the 2D. I think my Mega has officially replaced New Super Mario Bros. Oh, two player? June? Hi, everyone. June. I'm Yoshiaki Toizu. June. I'll be your guide for today's Nintendo Direct. I think the audio is good. I think the audio is good. You just got your first look at the brand new sequel to Super Mario Maker. Maker. Which we're of course calling Super Mario Maker 2. 2. 2. There will be brand new features. And many new elements are in development as we speak. So please stay tuned. All right. Next, let's cover today's Nintendo. Imagine if that was like a Yoshi's Island theme. That'd be awesome. For the first time in 10 years, the Marvel Ultimate Alliance series returns with a new four-player action RPG and an all-new original story. Assemble your ultimate dream team from it's a Superman. Marvel superhero. From the Guardians of the Galaxy to the Avengers, Defenders, X-Men, and more to stop Thanos and the Black Damn. Order. From unleashing cosmic chaos. You can play together in TV mode, locally on up to four systems, or online. And get closer to the action with a dynamic zoomed in heroic camera. And speaking of heroic, it's time to go higher, further, faster with Marvel's ultimate cosmic protector, Captain Marvel. Wield her power against those that buh, are buh. I'm just action. fucking with the audio, make sure it's good. I always forget I can change the audio on my end without changing the stream. Each hero has an alliance extreme attack, their most powerful move. Whether you join forces with friends, not really a Marvel dude, don't really care. Make teamwork to unprecedented levels as you creatively combine.
combine hero skills into synergy attacks. Your most powerful attacks can even be combined into an Ultimate Alliance Extreme Attack. The team-up possibilities will be off the charts when Marvel Ultimate Alliance 3 The Black Order launches exclusively on Nintendo Switch this summer. Welcome Ooh. back, Box Boy. Ooh. Get ready nice. to unload some boxes and have fun doing it. The critically acclaimed puzzle series Box Boy is coming to Nintendo Switch for the first time. This brand new game is tightly packed with tons of oh, it's content, brand new. including brand new puzzles and new features. Which I always wanted to get into this. Duty, lots of fun. This time, two players can box it up together. I don't know why, but they, the they set that up like it was going to be like a 3D thing. And beat those stages. After completing the story, you can access a whole separate adventure starring Cutie. The Cutie? Tall the, the tall one. In all, there are 270 stages to beat. That's the highest in the series to date. Use the, the tall one. Think nice. And lead our heroes to the gold. Box Boy and Box Girl will unload on Nintendo Switch April 26th. Nice. The ultimate spring update. Oh yeah, Smash. Super Smash Brothers Ultimate is about to spring forward with the version 3.0 update. Oh this my spring. god. What are we adding, you ask? Joko. You'll just have to wait to find out. <laughs> Remember. Joker is a part of Challenger Pack 1. Oh, footage. He's secretly been preparing for battle. And his moment will finally come before the end of April. In other words, this year, springtime is the time to smash. And don't forget, new Super Ooh. Smash Brothers series amiibo figures are on the way too. Ooh. There's even more to explore in Captain Toad Treasure Tracker. It's never Didn't know people still play this game. Through the maze-like miniature worlds of the Captain Toad Treasure Tracker game. In fact. We have two new announcements for the Nintendo Switch version. After a new update, all courses will support two-player co-op. Oh my god! I'm so nervous with someone Whoa. inside. Two heads are better than one, and an extra set of hands goes Whoa, a long that's way. amazing. This free update will be available later today. Oh my and god. some paid downloadable content is coming. Oh boy. In 18 new challenges that'll see you traveling to five Hey DLC for a free game for a, to a king port. Of sweets. I almost said free game. Achieving new objectives in existing courses. <laughs> Captain Toad and Toadette must obtain the shiny crowd in each course, all of which can be played alone <coughs> or with a second player. Captain Toad Treasure Tracker's special episode will be available for purchase as soon as, well, later today, giving you early access to one of the courses. The rest of the content I'm just be thinking about what could be revealed. If you don't have Literally, a just Prime Trilogy. Give me a Prime Trilogy. E Give me a discounted price. Game, I'll be happy. That's all I want. Special episode once it's available. I used to want Prime 4, but then you said, yeah, we were starting. Steal yourself for all new gothic castles. The side scrolling action of yours. Does this game look good now? In Bloodstained Ritual of the oh, this looks way better. So, the young lady Miriam, host of the Alchemist's Curse, must use her unwanted God, gifts the previous footage the looked awful. Curse's original host, Jeebel. With these powers, she can steal the abilities of enemies, bend gravity to her will and dart about Jeebel's castle at lightning speed. Here, the laws of reality and 2D side-scrollers don't apply. Throughout the castle, uh, boy, 5D. Life, deadly tasks, and small touches flesh out the campaign. Your body is covered with weird decorations. Beyond the main story, you can dig deep into character customization. Character customization? Oh, no. The fall of man at the hands of no, not skin color. Don't be afraid to show of them green and blue. Story. Bloodstained Ritual of the Night emerges from the shadows this summer. The time has come to build a new world and take on the children of Hargon. On an empty island, you'll ally yourself with the mysterious Malra. There's another one of these. Monstrous forces. Enlist the villagers to help rebuild what? and fight alongside you in the story mode. 
or unite with three other builders to create your own island in local co-op or online. You'll gather materials, craft objects and tools, and reach new heights by building any structure you can imagine. Like stales dash, to nowhere. Fly, play in first person, explore underwater, and warp all over the new retro-inspired map. Huh. If you own the previous game on the Nintendo Switch system, you can craft a legendary builder's outfit and the Dragon Lord's throne. I've always thought about getting in one of those games. Maybe I'll download the demo for the false one. See what it's like. Nintendo Switch headlines to come. But first, a word from Mr. Koizumi. Well, how's it looking? Next. What? New announcement for that classic RPG series. Please take a look. Oh. The houses. There are RPGs, and then there's Dragon Quest. The series Wait, what? that defined the genre. And the latest entry is charging onto Nintendo Switch in full force. Pairing the series' beloved style and perfectly balanced battles with the most impressive scope and elaborate story in series history. Where there is light, darkness follows. For no one does this ring truer than the Luminary. The boy that prophecy says will succeed the last hero and protect the world from a terrible end. In an odd twist of fate, the boy's royal birthright is snatched from him. On the day he becomes an adult, he finally discovers his true heritage and the powers that make him the Luminary. When he goes to the king of the largest kingdom for guidance, he is dubbed Darkspawn. So yeah, I'm getting bored too. This is hero, and the boring. The tag band of adventurers who will join him on his quest to set things right. Together, they'll explore the towns. I really don't give a shit about RPGs. <laughs> Monsters roam free of random encounters. When you engage them, choose your strategy wisely in turn-based battle. You must know when to attack, when to heal, when to use magic, and when to switch your party members' orders. As you do, you'll earn skill points which can be used to teach party members attacks, spells, and improve their abilities. You can also collect materials so you can forge oh. weapons, armor, and accessories. Go back to the headlines. For an item, then help people they will fast stall. Or try your hand at the casino. Or horse races. Urdrea is full of surprises like these. And this time, okay. the player has the power to choose on the fly between the land's um, HD vistas and the 2D6. I don't know if I wanted to know that. <laughs> This is also the first version of the game with fully orchestrated field and battle tunes. If you want, you can change between the original sound and the new one whenever you want. And you can also experience the journey. Oh wait, this was a remake. Or Japanese audio. I'm not even paying attention to the fucking direct right now. I could care less about this franchise. Yes, I believe there was different genders. There was more than one, so there was different genders. First time players and veterans should also look forward to new stories. Each sees one of the main cast members stepping into the spotlight, shedding new light on hidden truths. This hero's adventure has truly leveled up. Dragon Quest XI S Echoes of an Elusive Age Definitive Edition Uh, not really because it seems like you're just memeing right now. <laughs> While we just announced the addition of these new stories, there will be more new information to share in the future. Please look forward to learning more. For now, let's continue with more Nintendo Switch headlines. A Disney Tsum Tsum game like you've never seen before. Oh wow, this is totally what I wanted. Oh my god. And now they're ready for an after hours party at the Toy Store. Get to the good reveals. Play with your friends and family in a wide variety of competitive and cooperative games that support up to four players. 
See, with Nintendo Direct, Direct you gotta get through the pain in order to get to the good reveals. You gotta get through the pain. And you can't mention Disney Tsum Tsum without talking puzzles. Connect matching Tsum Tsum to clear them and set a high score. I'm just gonna ignore that. The game also features a two-player mode for local and online competitive matches. Disney Tsum Tsum Festival will steal our hearts in 2019. We're picking up a distress call in the Atlas Star System. But this time, it's far from friendly. In fact, it's none other than Star Wolf's infamous lieutenants, Andrew Oikini, Pigma Dengar, and the Great Leon. Now Peppy, Falco, and Sloopy have no choice but to hunt them down, like the animals they are, in a challenging new series of missions you can only find in the Oh my god, I need to meet Discord. For Atlas. Every member of the Star Fox team has their own special pilot ability and skill tree. Plus, each pilot can take on any of the new missions and also Fox's missions from the base game. It's time for a game of seek and destroy. But don't expect Wolf to play fair. Look forward to news on the rest of the additional... I've always wanted to try this game. Races and faction missions, so you're ready when the Star Fox it looks fun. Starlink Battle for Atlas update this I just don't want to... I have a bunch of fucking toy ships around my house. A heartfelt fantasy adventure crops up once again. Another season. Another not game. Not final gameplay footage. Okay. For a second, I thought I said not gameplay footage. So I'd be like, what? This looks awful. <laughs> this looks awful. These are the worst graphics I've seen. Oh wait, my ga my games look pretty gross. Or even raise monsters. This fantastical circle of life will keep you coming back for more in Rune Factory 4 Special, fully remastered for Nintendo Switch. Remastered. Soul, you keep telling yourself that. Long, you may become more than just friends. What? See what the heart-pounding newlywed life has in store for you, exclusively in this new version of the game. What the fuck is going on in my chat? What? And <laughs> we can finally confirm that Rune Factory Five is in development. Look forward to more info in the future. Okay. Soon. Oh my God. To slay monsters and rescue lost souls before those souls become monsters. So much fucking anime. G from the developers of I Am Setsuna and Lost Sphere. Step into a realm built upon the tenets of reincarnation. Its people lead repressed lives, forbidden to mourn the loss of loved ones. To uphold these tenets, Kagachi must travel between the living world and the beyond to rescue lost souls from a terrible fate, becoming monsters. When battling these creatures, the lost souls you've What the hell is going on in my chat right now? Granting you new powers. Each I'm like so confused. Different, so you must choose the right soul for the situation at hand. In this deep single player campaign, there will be many battles. You will fight and you will become stronger. Those who fall to grief are lost and the lost don't reincarnate. Oh my god. I didn't know people oh Dead when they die. Launches in Whoa. Cars, robots, and Yoshi's in a world of crap. You know what that means? In a world of crap. The world is almost here. But this time, we'd like to put the many facets of these crafty courses on display. As Yoshi, you'll go rafting. I love how this game just randomly got stuck in development health for like no fucking reason. Through the sky on a plane. Nice shot, Yoshi. Oh my god. Okay, can can you stop? Dude, can you stop? Using in-game coins you've racked up, you can collect crafted costumes. If you wear one, oh my god. If you don't stop, I'm gonna fucking ban you from my chat. There are more than 180 of these costumes. And some of them can be tricky to get your hands on. Jesus Christ. Later today, we'll release a demo which lets you play through the first course. The Yoshi's Crafted World game will finally hatch on March 29th. 
We have more Nintendo Switch headlines coming up, but first, another update from Mr. Koizumi. How's it going so far? Next, we have a follow-up on the latest installment in one of our long-running series, Fire Emblem Three Houses. Please have a look. That, they actually called this game Three Houses. I still can't believe that it's the dumbest name ever. Don't make it three games. What could have brought you here? They even gave it a fancy logo. What the fuck? The continent of Fogland, said to be protected by a revered goddess, has Jesus existed Christ. since time immemorial. Three ruling powers now control the land. In the south lies a region long held by a more than 1,000 year old dynasty. The Adrestean Empire. Beyond its borders, to the frigid north, is the home of the Holy Kingdom of Fargus. Oh my God! By the royal family and its knights. To the east, a league of nobles that heeds no king nor emperor rules what is called the Leicester Alliance. Once consumed by a tempest of war and turmoil, Fogland and these three mighty powers now exist in relative harmony. In the Fire Emblem Three Houses game, you are the hero the world needs. You start out as a mercenary, traveling with a group led by your father, Geralt. After an unexpected incident- I am totally listening to this direct they care so much about. to Garrick Mock Monastery, where you'll receive an offer to teach at the Officer's Academy. Around that same time, you alone begin to see a mysterious girl named Sothis, who appears within your mind. Garig Mach Monastery lies at the center of three large territories. It is the home base of the Church of Saros, the main religion of Fodlan, as well as the Knights of Saros. Not only does the church serve to maintain order in Fodlan, its monastery also houses the Officers Academy. Those who train there will go on to shoulder the future of Fodlan. The Officers Academy is comprised of three houses. The Black Eagles is for students from the Adrestian Empire, including the house leader and future... Okay, I needed to deal Empire. with that. That was fucking annoying. The Blue Lions boasts Prince Dimitri... I should add rules for my chat. ...as its house leader. This house is for students from his kingdom. Desperately the need to add is for rules. students from the Leicester Alliance. Their house leader is Claude, who is the heir of the noble family that leads the Alliance. As a professor, you will lead the students of one of these houses and instruct them. In addition to the house leaders, there are many <coughs> I don't care about this fucking game. And skills. Which house will you choose? At least it looks graphically better than the fucking 3DS games. Students are expected to travel to various lands, sometimes with the Knights of Saros themselves, and gain real battle experience, including like, everything from- You go to school to kill people. To totally. These may be class assignments, but the stakes in each battle are very real. Whether your students live or die will depend on your leadership. That is so dumb. The battle progresses like, if you actually think about it, just, oh yeah, I'm going to school and we're going to kill the people. Academy, your students will work diligently each day so that they may wield a variety of weapons. Master the study of magic. Fire Emblem is just getting like way too fucking anime. Special skills such as horsemanship. You have been entrusted with their future, and it's up to you to guide each of them and help them hone their abilities. Through combat experience and study, you can help your students reach Can we have the cast again to smash? That's totally gonna be a character from this game into Smash. And by doing so, their bonds will strengthen, and they'll be able to better support each other on the battlefield. Oh my god, it's Dio. Hey, over here. Forward now. 
I can feel the anime. It's physically holding me. Your very own journey. Fire Emblem Three Houses will release. Was that more? <laughs> Oh, of course. So, how does it look? Pretty boring. <laughs> Originally, we announced that Fire Emblem Three Houses would release this spring. But more development time will be necessary. And so the new release date is July 26th. That means we'll have to ask you to wait a little longer. But we hope you'll look forward to the next generation of Fire Emblem all the same. Not really. <laughs> time for some more Nintendo Switch headlines. Give me them headlines. Next entry of this iconic series. The last player standing wins. Effect? No, it's not. What? No. No, not Tetris Battle Royale. <laughs> Tetris Battle Royale. Tetris 99. I'm sorry, but what? An online experience like no other. Tetris Battle Royale. Battle for dominance in this free to download game. Oh, it's free. If you're attacked with garbage, attack back to defeat the other 98 players and become the I would totally player. download this for free. Nintendo Switch Online members, be ready to join the fight. Tetris it's a special eye for download later today. Look forward to battling it out in upcoming online events. Sounds like a fun idea. Prepare to kill. Ooh. Five, four, Ooh. In dead by daylight. Imagine this. God, I love how timing them out means I lose here. all four of my viewers. Survive. And then you meet another survivor. But it's too late. The killer is upon you. Now run. God, this Hide. looks bad. <laughs> Jeez. And escape with your life. Or take on the role of the killer to make the so-called survivors your next victim. Terrifying? Oh yes. Satisfying. You know when you think about it, the idea of a switch that looked like that legitimately looked like a PS1 game. That legitimately looked like a fucking PS1 game. You'll experience a deep progression system while you're on the hunt or being hunted. I forgot what I was gonna say all your meaning of horror when Dead by Daylight creeps up on Nintendo Switch this fall. Is this the game I got for free on PlayStation? Or was... Oh. Wait. Wait. Oh. Just chapter one is to me coming to the Switch already? I mean, okay. A censored spoiler free trailer. <laughs> what a great way to spoil un un <laughs> <laughs> God, I don't give a shit about like about the fan base level. The fucking Trailer is so, so fucking funny. I love the trailers. Hello everyone, I'm Kinichi Nishikura, producer of Damon X Machina, and I have some news. Later today, we'll be releasing a demo called Damon X Machina. Oh, demo! Fuck yeah, this game looks awesome. I am definitely downloading the demo. But in the demo, you can battle through four different missions. While exploring the basic controls and customizations of your personal mech known as an arsenal. Oh, I so want to play this game. There's a boss battle in the final mission, so please try it out. After playing the demo, we'd like to hear your feedback. We'll be conducting a short online survey by sending an email invite to some players to try out prototype missions. If you weren't selected for the survey, we also welcome your feedback via social media. We appreciate your feedback and hope to make this game the best it can be. The fucking like translator sounds like he's out of breath. Official Nintendo of America Twitter account, so you can stay up to date on the latest information. Demon X Machina should be launching this summer. With that in mind, the development team is working hard right now, so please stay tuned. 
realistic racing is headed oh yeah this this comes fully loaded with a mix i mean it, it, it it's about time we got like a realistic looking racing game on the switch but grid auto sport out of all games it's grid auto sport exhilarating yeah i wonder what the chat's fucking saying fco fco this is a 360 game 360 graphics Players can race online or local. Days off for, oh my god. No FCO, sleep, sleep, sleep. Wow, look how much people kale. I use toad controls. Enter the Viking Age to experience uh. Senua's journey again. Or for the very first time. Oh fuck yeah, this is probably gonna look awful, but with neuroscientists and people who experience psychosis. Hellblade pulls players. Wow, that actually looks pretty good. This broken Celtic warrior will embark on a haunting vision quest through Viking Hell to fight for the soul of her dead lover. I mean, it's not the same level of quality as the PS4 and Xbox One, but that looks really good for the Switch. British game and Holy shit. Find out why when sacrifice. I really need to play this game. Didn't I get it for free? Five ago? The Nintendo Switch lineup just keeps getting stronger. Mortal Kombat 11 proved the saga 25 years. Yeah, Mortal Kombat. With all new custom character variations, plus new characters and returning veterans taking up the fight. In a fresh new adventure, Unravel 2 sees players take control of two adorable Yarnies. Control both Yarnies on your own, single player, or play with a friend in local co op. It's a puzzling platforming fun when Unravel 2 comes to Nintendo Switch March 22nd. For the first time on Nintendo Switch, experience Assassin's Creed 3 Remastered. Assassin's Creed 3 Remastered. It looks the exact same. Remastered. Explore one of the most iconic eras in history as you fight for freedom and independence. Well, this is my favorite Assassin's Creed. All the original downloadable content, plus the entire standalone game, Assassin's Creed Liberation Remastered, will be included when they launch together on May 21st. Oh, yeah, this Final Fantasy fans. Better open your calendars. We're excited to announce that Final Fantasy 7 will find its new home on Nintendo. Why did 7 take so long? We can also announce that Chocobo's Mystery Dungeon. I hear Chocobo's fucking Mystery March Dungeon. We're pleased to announce that Final Fantasy 9 will journey onto Nintendo Switch later today. Ooh. Once a classic, always a classic. I've never played 9. Don't care about 9. But ooh. How's everything looking? Well, we have a bit more to share in this Nintendo Direct. Please stay with us until the end. Let's take a look, shall we? Oh, oh, is it the end? I like zoned out, so I think he said this is the end. I have no idea what this is. This is probably like a franchise that already exists, but I don't. I have no idea. Wolfen, I I don't know. Neil? No. Wait. I have no idea what I'm looking at. My guess it's somehow related to Platinum Games. Oh yeah, intense robot to just robot dog. Okay, intense music to robot dog. I can English. I English good.
Oh, it totally is fucking platinum. The new IP. And that's the end. No, it's not. What you just witnessed is astral chain. For a second, I thought, like he said, that was the end, like Olio. So I was like, oh, this is the final one. It looked like two characters were fighting together during battle, didn't it? I hope you're excited to learn more about how combat will play out in this game. Please stay tuned. I mean, it's got cool enemy and robot designs. It's got that. Bayonetta 3! Very curious about Bayonetta 3. Ooh. Rest assured, the developers of Bayonetta 3 are hard at work. Oh. And I hope you're looking forward to learning more. Well, our next title will be still, the last still walking. Please Final one. Time three, two, one. Time trilogy. That's not time. It's animated, so it could be animal. Link's, Awak Link's Awakening remake. Oh my. Oh my god. How did I get it? I usually never get things. Holy shit. Holy shit. This is the remake I never expected. I never expected this remake. Is it gonna be like a legit remake or no? Oh, I like how they're keeping the that. That's a chain chomp. That legit looked like a chain chomp. Wait, is this a Zelda make all? Why are there so many Nintendo? Then again, now I'm thinking thing about it. There were, were like Mario characters and non Zelda characters in Link's Awakening. It looks simpler than so, what, did you think? what I was expecting. At long last, 1993's Game Boy Classic, The Legend of Zelda Link's Awakening, will find new life on Nintendo Switch. After 26 years, it has been reborn as a new experience, and we'll have more to say in the future. So is that really the last one? Please look forward to Or are you doing a Nintendo and be like, oh, one last thing. Thank you so much for watching. You're not going to end it just like fade the black and then credits. You're ending it with fade the black to credits. You ended it with fade the black to credits. Wow, this direct sucked. Wow, this direct sucked. Wow. Wow, that feeling when you hope for literally just one thing and you still don't get it. You still don't get it. You don't get anything. My god, that direct was probably the worst one since the fucking Switch came out. Wow. That was pretty poopy. <laughs> what the fuck was that? Like, actually. It was only like one, like, actually big announcement. Wow. Okay. Well, that's the end of that. Um, I give the director one out of ten. <laughs> that was pretty shit. Yeah. So. I'm ending the stream now. What the fuck is going on my chat, all y'all? I wonder if the people actually know. Or like... People I know... No. No, no. No, no. I don't know. Who knows? No, no. No, no. No. Okay, I'm actually gonna end the stream now. That direct was fucking awful. Well... See you in the next Steam.
two years from now. Bye.